Let's go. This is Devin with AKA Golden B, AKA G Slam, AKA Big Boy Drip, and we up. I right, today I got a different type of video for you today. I'm just gonna talk about what happened yesterday, man. It was just crazy. Like, really crazy. You know? So, what I'm gonna start with is Aiden Ross. I'm sure by now all of you know it's probably going viral. It's viral right now. Yeah, Aiden Ross just put a tweet that surprised the whole of in the whole of the internet, you know? Like that he's gonna get Playboy Cardi on the stream and he's gonna pay him two million plus a Rari. So a lot of people were speculating and thinking that nah that's lies. That's not real. Cause Nobody pays like no other streamers like Kai Sinan and stuff pays rappers that amount of money just to appear on stream, you know. And usually the negotiation stuff is always off camera. So a lot of people were just like speculating and stuff like that. And then he started streaming like at midnight, I think, or 11, 11 or midnight. And he was like, uh, we're gonna have to wait for uh, Playboy Cardi, he's on his way. But yeah, just tune in, don't go, and everything like that and stuff. And we waited, waited, and waited, and waited. And finally, I think Playboy Cardi's team pulls up and then dabs Ed and Ross and everything like that. And they went off camera. And I, I didn't know if they were still in the room or they were out. And Aiden and Ross was like, uh, where are they? And then he said, and then like, just he was confused too, right? So he muted the stream and then walked out and then came back. He looked really disappointed, man. Super disappointed. And he's like, this is what he literally says. You, you, get, you can say L script anything you want or L Aiden, but this is not script. Playboy Cardi doesn't want to come on stream. They just left. And he's like, if you think I'm lying, I got the real footage, so I'll show it to y'all. And stuff like that, you know. And what is crazy is that stream at that moment, like, kind of hit, like, 400,000 views. So that's, like, the most views the stream has had. Everyone stream, I don't know who else has had, like, 500,000 views or seven in a stream. So he has, he broke the record in time. Because, like, a lot of people was anticipating and really wanted to see that. So... He was really disappointed, really sad, anxious. You could see that he was nervous too. So it didn't happen. And then luckily one of his teams were like, oh, he's here. And he's like, really? He was even shocked, right? So um, you went and then uh, he came in. And this guy, Playboy Cardi, comes in the room with, on some Emo so the energy. One for one, he's not hyped up. Two for two, he's not talking much to Aiden. And it just tells Aiden to play music and they're playing music the whole time. It's really awkward. It's really dry and stale because and stuff like that. Because he played like I think Aiden played like three or four songs. Couldn't talk to him, couldn't have a conversation with him and stuff he tried to uh throw in some little con ice breakers to start a conversation it was just really weird and then aiden ross did the biggest mistake i got some cash for you mm. yeah a little gift for me to you <laughs> um you know it's a good amount of money here you know it's, it's a lot of amount of money here i got you bro um for me to you yeah i got you bro mm. You know, like as for me personally, if we're talking about that money, I would probably give it to him at the end of the stream. You know, once the cameras are out and stuff, and then I'll be like, "Oh man, here's your bag." Or even if the stream is not ended, but just like okay, we spent enough time for the stream and everything. We did a lot of stuff because Aaron Ross does monkey, and then he does uh, a lot of stuff. So if he does all that stuff. Then I'll be like, okay, cool. Yeah, here's your bag, bro. All right, peace out. Thanks for showing up. And then let him leave, you know? But Aaron Ross was just feeling 
a lot of uncomfortable weird awkward uh energy so he's trying to lure him to stay in so he gave him the money and he's like yo bro here's, here's your two mil as i said i, I stuck to my end of my deal so yeah and then playboy cardi is just like thank you i love you 2024 new music i love eating hospitality you're very good uh, rappers need to find bonds with streamers. Emo stuff. And Aiden Ross is trying to laugh to lighten up the mood and make it like really fun. Trying to make it like really awesome. But yeah, and then he just, at one point, he just says to Aiden, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I want to leave. And then Aiden Ross is like, okay, let me just mute the stream. And they go off camera, off the stream. And bear in mind, the whole content was like six minutes. If you watch, if you go and check out the video on YouTube, it's six minutes on YouTube for the stream. And then he left cam, he left the stream, and they were negotiating some stuff and all the stuff. You know what I'm saying? To trying to talk, Eden Ross trying to talk to him or trying to get the money back. I don't know what happened necessarily. Eden says that he got like some of the money back, but I truly don't know what happened. Okay. And yeah, he came back on <clears throat> came back on stream, really disappointed because he had a stream before with 21 Savage and it just didn't go well. He got scammed. They were trying to play a game of cards and they got scammed. So yeah, that that stream really shocked everybody. Everybody was really shocked. If you check Kaisen's stream too, he tried to react to it because everybody was trying to watch it. It was there's a buzz on the internet but yeah it didn't go well he left early 21 savage gave him a call he's like man really you gave him two mil for six minutes you know it was just crazy and 21 savage is like yo we gotta have a talk man we gotta talk you know so yeah and it seems like 21 savage and Aaron ross is cool soldier boy called him too and told him that asked him are you good and stuff like that because it's the second stream in a row that he's catching like bad I wouldn't say bad energy, just like bad situation that's happening on the stream for him. And yeah, Playboy Cardi's outfit was just crazy bro. He had a whole mask, you couldn't see his face properly. Most of the people were like it's not him in the chat, but it actually was because if you went to go check his Instagram on the story, he had the picture of his clothes on, you know. So, yeah, that was really unfortunate for Aiden Ross, but W for Aiden Ross for bringing um, uh, Playboy Kali on stream. Unfortunately, he couldn't stay long, and unfortunately, he went to $2 million. Oh, he didn't. We don't know. But W for bringing him on stream, man, and keep grinding, man. Don't let these bad events stop you from doing what you do, man. You kind of inspire us, you know, you inspire everybody to come with content and stuff like that. But yeah, keep doing the thing, Aiden Ross, and keep climbing up high. And as for Playboy Cardi, I ain't got nothing to say, man. Drop some music if people gonna, li people gonna listen to you, you know what I'm saying? People don't wanna hear your music, people are going crazy over you. Drop your music, I hope things go good for you, man. Positive vibes on me. All right, and then the next thing I wanna talk about is, um, Tyler, she won the Grammy. Um, a lot of people are questioning about questioning Tyler for winning the Grammy. You know, they saying for one, how could uh, a lot of people are saying like how could she win over Davido, uh, Burner Boy, and Whiskey and all the African artists that were nominated in that category at Grammys. You know and they were just having a little bit of debate so i want you all to like tell me in the comment section like what do you all really think about tyler winning the grammys do you think they had to like give it to her next year or you think they did it the right the right time you know just come in the comment section and let me know but as for me personally it's my opinion i'm not trying to say facts or anything but i'm gonna say she deserved it man you know what I'm saying? She's coming from a point where not a lot of South Africans at her age are doing what she's doing or making the numbers that she's doing or like 
actually having a song that actually is globally known you know not a lot of south african artists is doing it so as for her to do it it's a big accomplishment you know and and as she's she's so humble man she's like she's like very humble she's never she doesn't have an ego or personality where she's it's like it's, it's, she's not doing it for camera because even off camera i've i've heard a lot of stories you can check it out people have met her off camera and they still say that she she's still the same person she's easy to talk to happy person you know and yeah i'll, I'll give her, her props for winning the grammy and yeah um hope more sex success comes your way and hope you achieve a lot more things and hopefully you get the second grammy just can't wait for the album yo the album is fire she has i think four songs that's out on the album now she's got water the remix of water truth is there i got a i did a reaction to it you gotta check it out you know uh it's out of here. just go ahead and check it out uh, it's really fire and then on and on and they're all like smash hits you know they're all fire uh travis scott's uh video was a shocking one to me you know i mean the remix i mean the of water that's a shocking one i thought she was gonna have like um chris brown uh trevor jackson but a lot of people were dissing him on like not dissing him but making fun of him i don't know if it's the same thing or not but i think it's it. yeah but they were making fun of him because he, he was too passionate on the song bring me water yeah the people, a lot of people make fun of him about that but i really want to say that um although it was a shocking feature but it did good it was great fit travis did his thing you know that's fire and then the last thing that i really want to talk about is uh the grammys you know in general i spoke about tyler separate because i really needed to talk about it because there's a debate going on of if she deserved it or not so i want to know in the comment section like if you really felt like she deserved it okay now to the grammys uh i wanted to ask you like do you think the people that won the grammys deserved it um because I, I i've I, I, what in the street is that most people that won the Grammys or won some awards or some Grammys didn't deserve it. Some said that they didn't even know the arts they wanted, all the songs that they have. And it was a shocker, especially for the award of the year, album of the year, I mean, my bad. Album of the year, I think it was given to Taylor Swift. If I'm not mistaken and a lot of people were expecting like Beyonce or somebody to win it but come in the comment section y'all let me know on this one because I truly I didn't watch the Grammys fully I watched bits and pieces because I had to work you know I work a nine to five anyway but yeah so I, I watched bits and pieces of it and I saw that and yeah and um even album of the year for hip-hop i think i think album of the year for hip-hop there's a guy called mike something mike i don't know mike some i don't want to bash his name or say anything bad about his name i pronounce his name bad basically what i'm trying to say but yeah um they said he wasn't the one that was deserved to win the hip-hop album of the year because for one they had her loss that's Drake and Twitter was savage. Come on. Like, if you go anywhere, anywhere, and just say, 21, can you? Somebody's going to finish their sentence. Do something for me. Like, everybody, like, everybody knows that, bro. Everybody knew, that, like, that album was hot, bro. And then you had Travis Scott's album that was in the same category. And a lot of people, like, on this album, like, we have Fiend. A lot of people went crazy over there. If you look at his uh, performances and how many people were there and 
and and and how crazy the fans were, man. You know, Metro Boomin had a great album too. You know, but it's unfortunate, man. What do y'all think? Comment in the comment section if you think what you think about the Grammys and what you think about Tyler and what you think about Aiden Ross. Did he like manage to like do his? I mean, like, how do I say, like, act the right way, or you could have acted a different way towards how play play situation happened. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, just follow me, just subscribe. It doesn't take no money, bro. It doesn't take nothing. It doesn't even take your time. You just tap it, that's it. It's like a 0.01 millisecond, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Road to 40k. This is dynamite. And we, yeah.